Hey there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your motivational speaker, trainer and head coach from Live Love Give and today's message has been one that I actually, I actually wrote down in my notes. I woke up, um, you know, just before I was about to go to bed last night, I, I kind of went, dozed off and I woke up and I had this thing just pop into my mind and I decided to write it down. That's what I want to deliver a message to you guys about today, which is that we attract what we most need to heal. And you know, there's been some things going on in my life right now where I've been faced with some different opportunities and they've been kind of, you know, these check-in points for me to see what triggers me, see, see what, um, you know, how my past experiences can come into my present and, you know, uh, direct my train of thought and the decisions that I make and really being conscious of that and it's brought to my awareness just how many things that we tend to run away from which ultimately is where all our value is it is where all of the healing work needs to be done and when we consistently run away from the things in our lives that are triggering to us then that's ultimately where we miss all the opportunities for growth and at some stage you're going to need to face whatever that triggering situation um, or whatever it is uh, whatever you feel like you're running away from because it's too scary too painful painful to whatever you're, you're avoiding it um, at some stage you're going to have to learn that same lesson so whether you do it now um, with the information that you have now or whether you do it later um, is up to you but from my experience it is when we take the action in the moments of being triggered I mean we take that action as soon as that thing that experience comes into play in our lives that's the best time to go for it and tackle it and learn the lesson then because what happens is is when you avoid certain triggering things in your life and you know that it's inevitable that that opportunity is going to present itself again what happens is every time you avoid it you beat down on your own self-belief you are pretty much just reinforcing to yourself that you can't handle it that you can't handle moving through that that you're not strong enough to deal with it and therefore you're reinforcing to yourself you must run away from it you must avoid it only to get to that point later down the track where you're presented with another same opportunity to learn that lesson only this time you have lost a bit more of your self-belief and that's why I want this message, my intention for today's message is to get you seriously thinking about what are those things in your life that you are triggered by and that you're running away from and how could you step up right now and handle those things in your life. You know, whether it is that you have to get clear about what you do and you don't want, whether it is that you have to take some action in a particular direction, even though it feels uncomfortable, whatever it is, how can you step up in your life right now and own it so that you can not dissipate your self-belief, but actually, you know, up level it to a whole new level so that the next challenge that you're faced with, and you know, we all know that you're going to be be faced with challenges time and time again but the next one you're gonna handle it even better than your past self self could have because you trusted in your ability to figure things out and you trusted in your ability to find the answers and you trusted in your ability to handle whatever the re repercussions that you're so fearful of experiencing in that moment and that's whether it is in a relationship maybe there's somebody in your life who you avoid you know, maybe it's your boss who you just like stay stuck in these niceties with, or maybe it's um, a person that's come into your life and you're not sure, you're not, you know where you want that to go, but you're not sure it's on path with that other person, and, but you're not willing to step up because it's scary uh, to have the courage to speak your mind and come from a place of truth to you because of your own limiting beliefs around rejection, whatever it is. Um, or maybe it's, um, you know, another area in your life where perhaps you haven't been looking after your health and perhaps you're starting to really notice some sort of symptoms in your body but you're ignoring it because you want the instant gratification of you know that food that you go and connect with somebody over or whatever it is you you know really if you were to be really brutally honest with yourself right now you know where it is in your life where you're avoiding uh, really stepping up 
and having courage to do the right thing based on your truth and what you know to be the right thing um, because of your own fears and I hope that this message inspires you to stop avoiding and start taking action towards the things that you know to be right because the sooner you do the sooner you build your self-awareness your courage your confidence and the sooner you can handle bigger and better challenges in your life so that you can grow rather than run away avoid dissipate your self-belief and then only make it harder and harder and stunt your growth because at some stage you have to learn the lesson in order to move forward you might as well make it now so guys I hope that this is um, valuable to you let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or comments is there something in your life right now that you're struggling with and and maybe this is triggering you to be honest with yourself about what you've been avoiding what you've been running away from and maybe now is the time to make that commitment to step forth with courage despite how challenging you feel it's going to be despite how um, you know how um, how much that's going to trigger that that feeling of being uncomfortable you know despite how uncomfortable it's going to be what are you committed to stepping forth with right now and I'm definitely going to check in with you guys and I've got Frankie nice to have you and Stephen and Shane and Ali and uh, Kelly awesome and Carla and Marco and Hassani awesome and uh, yeah Ali I've got the mountains again in the in the back I'm just soaking them up while I'm here I'm um, glad you like it and Trisha and uh, thanks Marco and uh, Kirsten and uh, Melita and Samia and uh, the another Kirsten and Kayum and Angel lovely to have you back and Jacqueline and uh, Angela and David and Harold Ellen how may I have a se session with you to get some help for me um, uh, do you do that kind of thing Definitely, Alan. So what I would say to you, I do do coaching and I do do programs, um, but what I would say to you is I do offer these 15 minute power sessions where I get to connect with you via video, wherever you are in the world, and see how I could best support and, and help you with whatever you're going through, um, help you break through to that next level. So Alan, definitely, I'll link it up, book in one of those 15 minute power sessions with me. I'd love to connect and see how I could best support you. And to any of you other guys out there, if you um, you want to connect, I'd love to meet you. And uh, Wayne, awesome to have you. And Justin and Jonathan and Lucy and Mark and Carlos and Namir um, and Mick's back. I love it. And Robbie, um, you're so, so welcome, Robbie. Appreciate you. And uh, uh, Namir, yes, I've got um, the mountains. I'm in Utah in the States at the moment. I've um, got a bit of mountain action behind me. Tomorrow I'm off to... Las Vegas for the weekend so any of you guys out there who've been to Vegas if you've got any suggestions for me I'm only gonna be there for um, three days so let me know is there a place I should be going to is there a show I should be seeing is there a restaurant I should be at um, where does like the best cocktails I want to know let me know um, I'd love to hear from you guys and uh, Patrice you're so, so welcome. Grateful that you're finding value here. Jacqueline, love that this is resonating. And Juan, nice to have you. And Sharon, you're super, super welcome. Um, and Mashud, nice to have you. And uh, Baza Murga, nice to have you. And Fazia and uh, Robbie, the right things are often the hardest things to do. Definitely. But when you get it in your mind that the sooner you step up and face the, th the, the, the things that are uncomfortable, the sooner you step into and follow what you know to be right, the sooner you build enough confidence and courage to break through and problems and challenges, you know, you begin to just trust yourself. And at the end of the day, that trust within yourself is your foundation to having a successful life, to your personal development, and in all areas. If you have that core uh, belief in yourself, which is generated through you taking action in the direction of your authenticity and the things that you know to be right, then ultimately you are going to experience true fulfillment in your life. So stop slowing down your progress by avoiding the things that are uncomfortable and start stepping into the uncomfortable so that you can have true fulfillment and you know milk this life for all that it's worth so appreciate your comments there Robbie thank you and uh, where's awesome that this is uh, resonating with you Leroy I love having you back and Nas and Peter and Andrea and Aaron and Amir and uh, 
Wakas and um, and Jeremy and uh, Wes, all mountains uh, were conquered with one step. Yes, definitely. Um, yes, and Elaine, nice of you to join me. Definitely, Wes. So you know, I'm all about that shift from the short-term pain to the long-term gain. And the way that you can do that is, you know, by being consistent with the small steps. We tend to place so much expectation on ourselves to do this huge thing to begin, and that ultimately prevents us from moving forward, as opposed to shifting to the long-term. The more consistent in those small actions to get into the uncomfortable that are gonna guide you closer and closer to your authenticity and what you know to be right you know the sooner you're going to reach that top of the mountain which is really being true to who you are and having energy fulfillment vibrance love connection all the great things that we all desire on the deepest level so take those little consi consistent action steps um, towards moving into the uncomfortable um, so that you can generate more authenticity and truth within yourself and uh, that's the path forward that is always the right path and anything that you know jeopardizes or is counterproductive to you living authentically like that is just a painful path to go on that is only going to serve to create more lessons more challenges that you need to more opportunities it is uh, to learn the lesson that you're obviously not less learning um, whilst you're still going down the wrong path and you're still stuck in those fears so love that and um, yeah Elaine um, hello to you and Salem and uh, Gary nice to have you and uh, Ula um, thank you so much for being here and Patrice being uncomfortable and going outside our comfort uh, zone is the road to our own success right yes definitely so it's about being crystal clear on who you are and what you want who are you really you know who is the authentic you and sometimes it is in the action that we discover who that is so you never want to be devoid of the action taking you always want to you know step into things you know you don't have to leap and jump into things but step into them test things out because it is in the inaction that breeds your fear and doubt and keeps you stuck and small and it is in taking action without even knowing if it's the right thing to do just yet but you you know for the purpose and intention of discovering what that is and discovering more about who you are that that ultimately generates the confidence and courage that takes you on that path to your own success and uh, so I appreciate that Patrice and Joel and Dennis awesome of you guys to join me live uh, that really is my message for you guys today it is that ultimately you know we attract what we most need to heal in our lives so next time you're feeling triggered next time something scares you in your life instead of running away from it and avoiding it I want you to step a step closer to it and all that does is generate that that it reinforces to you that you believe in yourself to figure this out to handle it now and you trust that you will learn the lesson you will grow and you'll become better and better for it and it'll lead you in the in the path of your true fulfillment which is always going to be in alignment with the truth of who you are and having the confidence and courage to go after what you really want so um, and much much love to you there Thomas and Maya thank you for joining me I'm just about to um, to leave you guys with that message um, like I said I'm off to Vegas tomorrow for um, three days so let me know any of your tips or suggestions I'd absolutely love them and um, I am sending you all of my love light blessings gratitude energy enthusiasm everything extraordinary um, so I hope that wherever you are in the world today you are having an extraordinary quality of day and also that this message has inspired you to be brutally honest with where you're holding yourself back because of your own fears and I hope that this message inspires you to step forward into the uncomfortable with a deep trust within yourself that you will figure it out you can handle it and when you do take that one small step it's only going to serve you more and more to build that belief within yourself so that you can handle more and more of what life throws at us, throws at us and uh, get on that path of true fulfillment and authenticity for you so um, lastly just uh, 
uh, checking in with you guys. Hassani, yes, I love it, I love it. And Brett and uh, Gary, so grateful this is resonating. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Daniel and Manolo. Awesome, guys. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. I'll be coming at you live on the road to Vegas. Um, and uh, yeah, so definitely give me all your suggestions. I really want to hear from you. And any questions, comments, feedback as to how I could be adding more value to you, I would absolutely love to hear from you. That's what I'm here for is to add value. So I appreciate so much when you guys can let me know what you're interested in, how I could be stepping up and adding more value to you. I would appreciate that so, so much and uh, sending you all my love.